touch and movement. One big thing about my hands, and I've done it this way to see them better, or to illustrate it better, is most people think about touch like playing a piano. So an immature touch with the piano bangs. You'll see more of the symmetry with, you know, you don't see the asymmetrical ability. So touch starts off in a sense with a bang, then you'll start to see the individual type movements. With that, you'll start to see where the fingers can articulate uh, individually. You might see a more dominant where the right can do more, that where the left or let's say doing chords. Then you'll start to see what I call the inchworm. But until the wrist and everything can roll over and start doing keys this way and that way, where you'll start to see that's a person that can has mastered more so touch at least for the piano. When you're working with someone, you want the touch to be, I call it more like seaweed. So it's not that the movement stops where I make contact. I explain like breaking a board in karate. If you only think of this as the board, you're never going to break it. Your movement has to go through the board, has to, and that's what's going to break the board. So when I touch, you know, it's, it's a lot like a dance where I'm touching someone and dancing with them. Uh, now I can do pinky to pinky. I can do pinky to forefinger and back. Um, but you don't see what I call clam hands. I don't hold um, where I'm doing this. The movement continues beyond someone's body. Uh, another analogy that I like to make, it's like making dumplings um, or pie crust but not uh, breaking the dough. You know, like with pizza dough, if you put a hole in that, you can't, you can't seam it back up again. Um, so even when I'm working and doing that individual work, you will see just this even flow, that rotation that continues. You don't see me. And you can try it on yourself. If you just touch, it only stays about here. But if you touch with rotation, you know, right now I could be working literally on my pelvis or on my trochanter through my hand because the movement when you use rotation can go through a system. And when you can take a movement and put it through a system, so when you're working on someone that can't do a movement, in a sense what you're offering them is uh, your movement vocabulary into their system. So. Uh, it's like planting new software into your, your hard drive. You know, you're upgrading it, you're doing those things, you're showing that success through your touch. And that's really the basics of how my hands work.